Hi Grade 12, this is Mr. R.K. Khan. Today's lesson is on protein synthesis. Basically, protein synthesis means the manufacturing of, prote of proteins. How is proteins made? Okay. okay, proteins are made in all our cells. Okay, first it starts off with a cell. So here we have a cell. There's a cell membrane and then we have the nucleus. So it starts off in the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we know that the nucleus contains DNA, okay, or hereditary information, okay, DNA. All right. So in the nucleus, so now we're gonna we're gonna zoom into the nucleus. So here I have I have drawn the nucleus. I have magnified the nucleus. So nucleus magnified. So we have the nucleus here drawn. Okay, and we can see that there are spaces in the nuclear membrane which are called nuclear pores, and we'll, I will touch on that uh, later in the video, the significance of the nuclear pores. All right, so the first thing that happens is that the DNA strand, it unzips. Okay, so these bases break apart, the DNA bases break apart, but some of them still remain attached. Okay, so you can see that the thymine and adenine here are attached, the cytosine and guanine are attached here. All right, so the, the first step is DNA strand unzips partially. All right, the second step is mRNA molecule is built. So we have that, so we can see that here we can see uh, free nucleotide bases uh, come into the into the nucleus and they attach to the DNA, the exposed DNA uh, uh, nucleotide bases. So we have the ATG which are exposed. So we can see that the uracil comes in and attaches to the adenine. The adenine uh, comes in and attaches to the thymine and the cytosine comes in and, and attaches to the guanine, forming a mRNA molecule. Now in the in the mRNA molecule, we have trip, a, a triplets a triplet of this of these bases are called a codon. So here we can see co each triplet of bases on the mRNA is called a codon. Right. So this matching of the bases of of an mRNA to the DNA is called is is a process, and this process is called transcription. Right. So that's the end of the second step. Now we move on to the third step where now that the mRNA has been built, it has been transcribed, okay, transcri transcription has been completed. Now the mRNA has to detach. It detaches from the DNA and it leaves. And how does it leave? It leaves to the spaces in the nuclear membrane and these are, these are called the nuclear pores. So the mRNA leaves through the nuclear pores and then moves to a specific site in the uh, in the cell and this and this site is an organelle and the organelle is called ribosomes okay so here you can see we go back to the original uh, picture here so now the mRNA has been formed inside the nucleus it leaves the nucleus and then it tries to find the ribosome inside the cytoplasm within the site within the cytoplasm of the cell the ribosomes are a site of protein synthesis this is where the proteins are formed the proteins that coordinate the functions uh, in your body and do specific functions in your body uh, are formed or manufactured on this ribo on the ribosomes of your uh, of your cells so they, they are the site of protein synthesis so here we have that the mrna they come about so the, so the third step the mrna then breaks away from the DNA strand and moves out of the nucleus into the cyto into the cytoplasm. Then it moves to the ribosome. So the the fourth step, the fourth step is the mRNA then attaches itself to the ribosome with its bases exposed. So you can see UAC here, UAC, UAC. So it attaches in such a way that the the, the bases are exposed to the uh, to the to the environment. Okay, to the cytoplasmic environment. Then what happens? Each so we know that the triplet here UAC is called a codon. Why is it called a codon? Because it's found, it's a triplet found on the mRNA. 
That is why it's called a codon. See, it's a triplet found on triplet of bases found on the mRNA. So when now that the, these codons are exposed, we have four different codons: one, two, three, four. Four different codons. All right, four different codons. Then we have a tRNA molecule. So a tRNA. This see these orange these structures here in that are colored in orange, drawn in orange. One, two, three, four. These are the tRNA. So the fifth step is tRNA with an amino acid. So we have each we have four tRNAs here. Each of them have a uh, amino acid. We know that amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So we have one uh, tRNA. There's an amino acid. Second uh, tRNA amino acid, third tRNA amino acid, fourth tRNA amino acid. And on the opposite side, on the opposite end of the tRNA, we have these triplet triplet bases. And these are called anticodons. And they are complementary to the, the codon. So the anticodon is complementary to the codon. So you can see that A joins to U, U joins to A, G, C. Okay, so you can see they are complementary. They have a specific uh, position. Uh, so therefore, the mRNA specifies the position in which the tRNA will come and join. And therefore, producing a specific type of protein. So once, this, once they attach to each other, these uh, amino acids, they form peptide bonds. Okay, so the, between, so these will start to join. Okay, they'll start to join here, join here. Then they... They form a peptide so you can see these bonds here these bonds so these bonds are called peptide bonds and then they form they continuously form add in as the tRNA are joining they form in more and more amino acids that are joining to this chain so a protein molecule consists of 50 or more amino acids so you can see now we have in this picture we only have uh, four amino acids so of course we will need uh, 46 more amino acids to join this chain to form a uh, protein or more. All right, and then we can see that the last part here we can say ribosomes they are made up. What are ribosomes made up of? They are made up of RNA. They are made up of RNA. Okay, so the, the last step, so we just to recap the last step here, we, uh, we know that the tRNA they join together, the complementary bases join together and therefore the amino acids will start to link each other via peptide bonds. The amino acids link up to each other by peptide bonds and are arranged in a specific sequence. And this specific sequence gives rise to specific proteins which do specific functions. The chain of amino acids then break away from the tRNA forming a polypeptide chain. Okay, grade 12. So that is is. That is protein synthesis. I hope this has helped you. Please uh, pause the video, take down the notes, uh, um, take, uh, take down the, the drawings because as you are drawing and making notes, it makes it much easier to remember the process. Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, please subscribe, and I hope you have a very good day. Thank you so much.